Hey guys, um, got an update on the approach 20. Uh, it's going to be uh, let me take that off. Uh, well, it's going to be the uh, 0105 2024 update. So, um, if you have it installed already, uh, this will copy a couple files over. Um, for safety, just in case, uh, if you guys already have it, um, what I did is you can make a copy of the approach 20v1. <clears throat> you know, by default, it's going to go on your C drive under program files x86. I just happened to change mine to D because uh, I've got more space there on my D drive. So wherever you put it, uh, go to it, highlight it, and copy it, and then paste it. That way you have a backup copy, you know, just in case anything were to happen and go wrong, uh, overwrite uh, your ball files or whatever it might be in this folder. I don't keep my ball files in this folder. I keep them on my desktop under a separate folder uh, called My Map Balls. But anyway, we'll go over this. Uh, we'll go over this uh, shot here real quick. So uh, you know, it's important that. Uh, it's important that you're on the right hole and in, in course wolf creek number 10 right that's important because when you do a uh if you do happen to log a shot in then it's going to log it in under for wolf creek number 10 uh the club that you use and the uh calculated win uh for that shot so let's uh go ahead and just, take this shot and I'll show you 164 19 up all right 175 right. so we look at the ball data and we have the five iron here that goes 182 uh, the program positioned it to the six iron because it will find the nearest carry yardage without without going over the calculated distance which is 175 so that's why you're on the uh, six iron here you also notice uh, that it's going to be you know a couple yards short maybe with this 65 spin as you look so what we'll do is we'll take the six iron all right and we'll look at our gauge which is already set uh, to this backspin of 65 right? but we're going to be short so what we're going to do is we're going to take some backspin off of that ball right? there and we're going to get a six iron right? and 2.84 and then that's going to be at 100%. Right. Now, what we're going to do is we'll, we're going to take this snapshot after the ball quits, right? So, boom, we take a snapshot. So now the other players, uh, if you're playing the twosome or threesome or whatever, and, you know, they're taking their shots, but you took a snapshot of your top tracer panel here before it went away, you know. Now it's gone, and the other players are shooting their approach shots or putting or whatever, but you wanted to log that shot in. So now that you have your screenshot, you can, at your leisure, you know, key it in. Right, and log it in and save it. Right, so now you have that shot uh, saved, 
and you go ahead and put you go to the next hole and if you wanted to you could add more shots you know as you go but here's the thing we'll retake the shot so now let's say you have uh playing wolf creek again six months from now a year from now two years from now a week from now but you're playing wolf creek on hole number 10 and it just so happens that uh this uh yardage or close to the yardage comes up again uh, but the wind came up with 12 and you know you're 164 well let's just say 163 right 19 calculates 174 the next time that you're playing right you look at your ball data you'll see now that it recommended a six iron because it's was 174 and the uh, map is 173 <clears throat> but it also brought back that saved record that you logged in okay? as you see it's gray and that means it was a headwind right so these shots uh these save shots are the criteria is the uh course and hole that you're playing the club that you used last time when you did log a shot uh, the wind head or tail wind and the amount of wind that was uh calculated for that yardage so that's why that popped up here so you can see that the uh, uh wind amount was five miles per hour uh, that was calculated <clears throat> you know if you had a different wind amount let's say that you were at uh and say that this was you know 15 right 164 19 right now it's 177 now when you came back uh you're going to see that that record isn't there because the headwind uh is more than what you uh saved your shot as so that way you're not going to have a bunch of uh unwanted records showing up um, when you come to look at your map data right so uh, <clears throat> if you look at your five iron <clears throat> I just happen to have a couple five irons in here right that I took previously I don't have any four irons right seven irons I don't have any so I'll recalculate by clicking over here to calculate again and so again we've got you know 175 which is the adjusted yardage <clears throat> based on uh, 173 which is up here right that's your mapped data that you mapped and, and put into the program right the log shots are totally different uh, they are showing you um, the total distance that that shot went with the uh, wind conditions right <clears throat> so it's showing you that you know it carried 164 <coughs> excuse me and it rolled one yard because it went 165 mm -hmm. with this amount of backspin on it 55 and in the fairway right so if you're looking at log shots then what you want to look at you look at the total distance and then you look at the actual pin distance <clears throat> those two match uh, our match up between uh, your decision whether or not you want to use a save shot or you want to use a map shot right so those two 
uh, numbers represent the pin and the actual distance the club went that you saved it whenever and the calculated distance is based upon <clears throat> your map data you know so <clears throat> hopefully you uh, made that clear to you so so now you got two choices on this shot when you're looking at it right away you can say I want to double click my six iron I'm going to shoot my six iron <clears throat> all right so I want to take this shot all right or you can double click on a save shot if one appears that you took previously and you can double click that and then now you're going to the gauges are going to uh, represent the uh, uh, these gauges are going to represent <clears throat> a six iron shot that you've double clicked on right so <clears throat> take this back off here so if you want to use your save shot, right, you need 55% spin, right? You want to shoot a six iron, which you got it, right? And you know that your save shot, six iron, it went 165 in this kind of wind condition, right? And the pin is 164, right? So by using the saved shot here you should be pretty close uh, to the uh, uh, pin right we had 2.84 again one two two and a half, about there so again when you look at your save data we've set the spin to 55 and we know it's going to go around we know the save shot is going to go around 165, and we know the pin is 164. So that's what we'll do. We've got our spin set, and we're just going to head and take it, you know, 100%, and it should go a little bit longer. Okay, I got lucky there because I probably moved it too far to the right. And so let's take that shot again and see. Do I have it set for the right one? 40, 40, yep. All right, it's 2.84. So let's see. One, two, two and a half. And that's going to be 3, so 2.84, probably, mm, it's, it's kind of hard to say, but we'll try it there. Mm, all right. And we want it 55%. That looks about right. And we'll take the full shot. two we could take a snapshot of that All right so it's pretty much what was on the previous one except that this was 65 percent backspin on this last shot and we put 55 uh on the previous shot so we were we were about 10 percent over so so that's how the save shots the log shots come in handy or you just use your map data shots, you know, 6 iron, 65%. Well, that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what uh, we hit. So, either or, um, you don't need to log your shots if you don't want to. Um, under the shot tabs there, are all the shots, it's log as you log them in, and they're going in by the distance from low to high so but anyway that's uh that's the update and again 
if you do happen to log shots in, uh, just make sure that, uh, you know, just make sure that you're on the right course and hole that you're playing. And that you choose, uh, you know, you have the right club uh, that you are actually hit. So when you do log it in, the program knows uh, that it was on Wolf Creek number 10 uh, with the calculated wind effect for a six iron. So that way, you know, as you come down and and uh, shoot uh, different calculated shots here from your map data, your uh, log shots will appear if they're within the same wind range. So I hope that explains it. So uh, I'll have links in the description for the program. So. And again, uh, you know, just be on the safe side. I, uh, I'm not sure what you put in your approach 20 folder for your ball files and stuff. So <clears throat> if you have all your ball files in the same folder that you created, I would definitely just make a copy of that folder. All right. And uh, just in case, so you, you know, you don't lose your ball files. Um, and maybe think about putting your ball files in a separate folder somewhere so when you're using a driving range program you know you can store them in that folder and then when you use this program you can load them up from that uh, same folder so all right guys that's an update and again if everything goes right when you start the program up you should see uh, the 0105 header listed if you don't see that you don't have the update all right have a good one